That's not the noise. Ah! Okay. Oh, I don't want to let the fly. Uh, <laughs> what? What hey. was that? Those were keys. Oh, so please. Check, you <laughs> check, really check my geese call. <laughs> geese! Hey, geese! And that's the opening clip. Good morning. <laughs> Good Jeez. morning, New Jersey. Oh. It's early. I did, I did a chicken. Good call. morning. <laughs> Welcome back to another clips video. How many clips of it are we rolling out this weekend? Daily. One a day. One a day, baby. Wow. I accidentally uploaded four last night. Whoa. Uh -oh. What? Okay, so uh, we have top 16 in a few hours. We have a couple hours of practice. We didn't really prep the car all after last night, so we're getting a really slow start. Uh, we're just making sure the car is good. We had a lot of contact yesterday. We need to make sure everything is still straight and everything is tight before we get on practice later today. So Dylan's gonna be working on that. Probably you guys are showing up for the VIP session, so I'm gonna sign all this stuff and then try to help Dylan. Uh, we were just doing some checks. Uh, Dylan was going to the front left and the front wheel shakes back and forth and we're pop the hood. No, it's fine. You're gonna compete on it. It's gonna just drop. It's a smooth track. You just want me to drive through it? Uh, I mean, I want to try and do something to fix it first, what, but there's what, not much that where we. Where is it bending? No, it, pull, it pulled yeah. the top sleeve uh, right. out of the, the body. Is that big? We can try to spin it back in. I don't think we have any way to charge it, though. Yeah. Okay, well, do you want to just forego this practice? We have another one. And yeah. then we also have call up battles before top Listen, 16. Is that a separate thing? You have another practice. 11 and then to the 12, yep. and then from 1 to 2. Okay, and then the call out. And, and then, then call the outs, and then top 16. Yep. So, yep. like, if we want to, for, if we, I don't think we should rush it. I no, say we no, shut no. it down. Let's pull up and see what we can do with it. Okay. Go from there. What and is that's, happening? Uh, after all the driving yesterday, the front left wheel, the coilover is damaged oh. and there's a lot of play. Uh, it's probably from the contact of yesterday. So, we're going to cancel practice right now. Focus on trying to fix it however we can. Don't know if we will, but uh, we're we'll be fine. Yeah, I'm very confident. Okay, so are we, are we? All right, practice now. Practice session. We're gonna go out for practice. Just try to get comfortable and feel like we did yesterday, and then we'll shut it down and get ready for. Uh, actually, before we go to top 16, we're gonna do fantasy battles, which is pretty much call out battles, and it's gonna be me and Adam. So it's gonna be sick either way. What's uh, a coilover situation? Coilover uh, is damaged. We believe we've been driving on it all day yesterday. Uh, we put a feeler out on Instagram. If anyone wants to let us borrow from the coilover, that'd be awesome. But uh, we're gonna act like there's nothing wrong and we're just gonna drive through it. That's all we can do. That's my boy. We are ready. We are ready. Hey, you look kind of hungry out there. Pac-Man and a bunch of cars and shit. Just a little pissed hey. off. Good, uh, stay that way. Yeah, I just have this line. I have the commitment. Um, it was cool. So Adam, Nate, Hamilton, definitely the two fastest guys on track. Both of them did something that I kind of learned from. They so row angle. End of two. End of, so and coming out of one. Three. They hang a little longer. Like uh -huh. Nate coming out of zone one, stood for a second and then flipped. 
So I saw it, had to correct, was able to stay in it. And then in Outer Zone 2, the moment Nate gets on gas, he walks. He like he goes fast. Yeah, I could have I fast. could have been closer. I wasn't trying to bang doors, but I'm just like lightly. So in the chase, so I'm you no have, longer. You have room to dive in more. When it matters, yes. Cool. That's all. That's when all. It matters. Asking. Yeah, I'll yeah. push the extra five, ten percent. I'm asking for my version of this, which yeah. is setting up car. Yeah. And so as long as I know that it's in the car, and then you can do it when you need to, yeah. that's fine. But I want the LZ and Hamilton both have the biggest smoke screens, and even going from two to three, I was able to judge it and dive. Um, Hamilton's fast in the three. Hamilton is, is his exit speed is fast. So it exits two really fast and then waits and then big yeah, flicks in the three and then exits three really fast. I'm hyped. I'm ready, baby. Good. Look like ready. Good job, boys. Oh my god, that was horrible. That was terrible. Um, uh, you ever put the clicks back in that shock? Okay. Oh, we have a coil over now, right? Yes. Also, keep in mind you had a passenger. So it's going to be a touch more gripped up, but it's going to feel a little bit different on certain transitions too. So. Going into the uh, fantasy battle thing, that'll be a better idea of what we need to do going into comp. Yeah. Uh, when's our next time on track? It's the schedule is pretty crazy, but it's fantasy battle before right. top sweat. So I, I have to look. I think it's like three years. I know. I need to know when, so I can either make a judgment call on tra transferring this front coil over or not, or figuring out if it will work, or pulling it, holding it up, looking at it, etc. So as much as I want it changed, I mean I'm driving on it fine. I'm not like, oh, I feel something. Like, I, I don't know. No, good. You don't, I'm not saying it's a, it's not a mental thing right no, now. I know. Inhibiting I know. you. I don't know. So I you have, can find me schedule. That's great. I'm going to pee. Okay, I'm up in my pants. Right and it yeah. sinks over time, so I have to really cinch the shit down. It's, of course it's, it does. Yeah, thanks, KW. So if we have an adjustable <laughs> collar, I can adjust it to yeah. the line on there and actually have the proper seated right hand. Yeah. So, so this look. would be better in all ways. Okay, I'm going to rip it off. Yep. Where did you get that from? Like, what? Where'd you get that? Adam. Really? And Sean. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you open the gates. Thank you. I don't know how to. <laughs> nope. It just takes a while. Oh, there you go. She's there pretty you go. Hey, yeah, team. She's pretty clapped. What up? I'm going to squeeze this way. I'm going this way. Race car coming through. We got a race car. Ra race car coming through. Race car coming through. We need to do a little tire change. We're burning through the G2s. The G2s are ripping, dude. The Nittos are so epic. Uh, we need to get a little tire change because right now we only have uh, four spares from Motegi. Those are so new, they didn't get the other ones done in time. So we're making use of not a lot of tires. How's it going? We got a little drop off for you. Okay, uh, we have one right here that just needs to get flipped, so you're going to have an odd number. Here, just start stacking. Yo, I love them four, bro. She's got a little gas to her. No, it it pops like a bitch. All right. Get it, like, high really? RPMs? Yeah. Thoughts? UWRX. Thoughts. Uh, I mean, if it wasn't missing the front half of the car. Besides that, we'll, obviously. I will say, when these have paint match fenders, it looks 100% better. Agreed. Yeah. When they're painted, they, they look they look I, all right. I don't hate it. My Whoa. homie my homie Nick, actually, in New York, shout out to you, Nick. He has one tuned 85. It's actually making really good power. Uh, but those are cool. I don't mind them. Not bad. Oh, we got a little cone in the road. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're good. Clearance, yep. We got it. This little... Oh, mood as fuck. Cool. This right here. Cool. That works. What? I appreciate you. There you go, man. Thank you, man. Sweet. I gotta keep my momentum going or else this thing turns off. Beep, beep. Oh, shit. Beep, beep. 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 Alright, how do we go this way? Oh, what's up, vlog? What's up? Oh, shit. 
Here, I'll make the noise again. Ready? You ready? Ready? Oh, we have it. He runs into the Supra. Hey, how does it feel to drive something with some pizzazz? You see this? Look. See that? Is it really easy to operate oil? Yeah, I put VR1 in it. <laughs> Hell Horse yeah. Power. Horsepower, baby. Horsepower in a bottle. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah, bud. What's going on? No. Hey, no. Do you have the car key? Uh, no, I don't. It's in the... I... Someone left it there, and then I said, fuck it. If you're gonna leave it there, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, so, the front. Previous coilover. Did that. That's bad. It would have been okay for the rest of the competition, but thank you, Sean and Adam. They had a spare front left. So we kind of hodgepodge both coilovers together to make the proper coilover, just to at least run the rest of the weekend. And then we'll adjust it when we get home and replace it. But uh, TJ is good and confident. Brand new front left, so he can drive it into more drivers for me to change later. Awesome. I am super excited to start announcing with this super on super action. Just waiting for the hand drop from our start line man, Mr. Nick Swan, out here at... And here we go, we are starting the first fantasy battle. It's gonna be TJ Hunt with the big flicking lead in. Adam getting right up in his business almost immediately, followed very closely by a remote control car, which is absolutely fantastic. As we are rounding around the second outer zone, Adam leaving no room for any type of error, and TJ putting down a monster. Oh my goodness gracious. We saw a little bit, of, though I, I puckered a little bit on that one. That was uh, an insane run from Adam, putting all that pressure on TJ. Door-to-door -door action with probably two of the best looking cars out here today. Nick drops the hands and off we go. Adam getting out there with the quickness. TJ right there on initiation. Adam on that nice wide line as they switch back into that second outer zone. And here we go. Adam pouring out that smoke, putting the beans on and leaving TJ kind of in the dust a little bit. TJ is gonna have to play a little bit of catch up as we round back in and Adam almost does the exact same thing that TJ did. That was an interesting finish to that run. Dave, what do you guys think down there? Well, forwarding the whole entire run, Adam and I push doors, so I expected nothing less. So I'm just excited we got to run it. You scared the hell out of me. That was very scary. When we hit? In the chase, you pushed me so far to the outside, I got so scared I was gonna hit that wall. And then in the follow, I thought we were gonna park it on top of each other and then ruin both these cars. But we did, and that was an awesome run. So either way, I'm stoked. Well, I'll tell you what, we got, we got, this is fantasy battles, so this doesn't happen in any other competition that we have no control. All you guys have the control. So we're gonna see who's won this fantasy battle. Who thinks TJ Hunt's won? Who thinks Adam LZ won? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wants to see it go one more time? The crowd have spoken. Are you boys ready to do it one more time? I, I wanna send it right now. You, I think these guys wanna send it right now. You guys wanna see it right now? Boys, get in your cars, we're going at it again. And it looks like they are almost ready to go. Nick is getting the word. Nick's arms are up. And here we go. Second round of the fantasy battles with TJ Hunt leading Adam LZ. Adam already up in all of TJ's business. TJ making that transition a little bit lazier than I think, but that's okay, because Adam's like, you know what? I'm not going to let you get away from me right here, because we're going to do this, and we're going to make this one a complete lap. Let's hope they make it past this part, and they both do. Through that last outer zone, a full run. Rock and roll. Now we're just going to switch these guys and get them out again, so hopefully we can get a score from you, the people. We shall see. All right, getting those arms up from Nick again. He's getting the word that we are ready to send. Here we go. Concentration from both of these guys as they zip through the chicane. Here we go, LZ coming out quick. That big flick entry all the way into that first outer zone, nice and deep. Adam's car definitely has that capability to pull away from TJ, but TJ not giving him any room to do so. 
Adam was definitely a little bit closer to that inner clip as they come back through the last outer zone. We actually get a full run for the crowd to judge. There will be a winner here. Blowing flames right into TJ's window. Let's bring that back down to Dave. That one was a little bit cleaner, right? That was a nicer run lead and chase. Yeah, I went down there and dropped some PSI in between runs. I was like, Adam is so fast. I need, a good, I need to catch up. That was awesome. The fans saying Adam LZ, and I think that's the fair call. I am in 100% agreeance. Adam's chase run was absolutely on point there. He had the proximity. He had the great lead run. And TJ just didn't maintain that. And I think the crowd picked up on it. So I and, again, the judges up here in the tower are in 100% agreeance. The only way that, that that could have happened, right, is if he pushed you in outer zone two to elongate outer zone two to where you had to transition, you're yeah. already in the wall, or after you transition, pushing you into yeah. outer zone two. I don't two. know. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't care. Like, no, it was, I, know. It was, I, I can't even recall. So fucking awesome. Um, Watching these two cars and you guys drive together. It's sick. It was so sick. And then him spinning and you guys one more timing. Like, there you go, baby. Yeah. Yeah, it was super tight. It, now my, like, whole calibrations off because I'm like I need, more I need, need, need a little more air out need a little more air out yeah teacher's like oh is it the front this or that I was like or is he just that fast and I was like he's just that fast that car's fucking fast you need to show them the damage they, they haven't seen the oh yeah he nailed me Ooh. we can kick the door out that's not a problem it's just kicking the side screen back in when's this car getting might not get wrapped anymore <laughs> I don't know we'll have time <laughs> Um, Alright, right, so we're getting ready to go into our top 16. Um, uh, so we made changes to the car. We replaced that front left coilover uh, with a spare that Adam had. Now the front left coilover now is different than the right, and it actually made a pretty big difference on the car. The steering wheel isn't straight anymore, it's way softer on one side than the other side, and we sprung, we like transferred over the spring rate. So, um, that's kind of in my head a little bit because I do know it is a little bit different and I noticed it when chasing Adam. Um, and then also when I chased against Adam, he was so fast. He was like gapping me. So like my last impression is like, car feels a little different and he was gapping me. So right now I just need to like clear my head 100% and redial and refocus on focusing on this battle. So we have the car. This is adaptive driving. The car is a little bit different. Uh, temps on the track are changing, which means the grip level is different, and we have to go out there and make do with the elements, and that's like the hardest part of drifting. I think when you're watching and you see like it can be over the course of a whole day, someone could be ripping, 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 and then like later in the day, they start not looking the same, and it's because there are so many things out on the track surface, on the car, uh, the heat of the tires, life of the tires that change the way the car drives, and you have to learn to adapt. So. I'm ready to go. I'm excited. We're driving against a guy named Brian Hoff. He has a very, very fast S13. So we just gotta do our best to keep up with him. Okay, so uh, I don't know. Have we filmed anything since? Uh, no, just keep going out to top 16. Okay. And then the battles. Well, unfortunately, we ran into a car problem. Uh, it sucks because I feel like throughout this weekend, we're like, oh, the car's not doing this, the car's not doing that. And this car is really great, but just pioneering a new chassis, like, shit happens. We had an amazing chase. I was being extremely aggressive. I was probably being just a little bit too aggressive, uh, which is ultimately like what caused the problem I'm about to explain. 
Um, so that's a little bit, that's something for me to reflect on. Uh, I think we would have had that win. Like, had I continued that chase and then done my lead, we watched his footage back. Um, Hop's a good driver, but he was left zone one early, left zone two early, uh, didn't fill out of zone three after. Like, our lead would have had that. So that's unfortunate, but I'm happy he got the win and hopefully he can take it to the, take it to the championship for us. But let's get to what happened. So the traction control on this car uh, is activated and deactivated and is reliant on the wheel speed sensors on all four corners. So although we do have them coded out, the car, is, the car still is gathering data of how fast each wheel is spinning. So when we were in drift, the front left wheel, let's just say it was going 60 miles an hour, and the front right wheel was going 60 miles an hour in the chase. And as I was tapping the driver's door in chase, um, I haven't had any issues where because of the right wheel slowing down a little bit to the left wheel, I haven't had any problems with the car doesn't like that. But I was being so aggressive that I was like kind of leaning on him a little bit, not pushing him, but leaning on it to where I think I slowed the wheel down too much where this was going 60 and now this is reading like 30 and that red on the ECU like the wrong resistance or I don't know but it tripped the car out and it shut us down put it put me in limp mode couldn't do anything um had it not have I would have been able to clutch in flick back and we would have been on him and finishing the run and then afterwards pedaled the car off the track car was not letting me even kick out at all so traction control was on and limp mode was on went into the pit turned the car on and off again tried to at least cycle it and try to throw down a lead lap maybe he spins and we get it one more time uh left the grid shifted from one to two the moment the car broke free traction control kicked on car bricked me put me in limp mode and uh, i put my hand out the window and i said don't come behind me because you're gonna hit me and we're both gonna be in trouble so ultimately we got knocked out due to the mechanical failure of the car. Uh, it's frustrating because I believe that we would have won that battle. Uh, and we, I believe that we would have gone far, potentially to the finals. So that sucks. But we had a really good time yesterday. This car is proven to when it works. And when we're learning about this car, this car shreds. And this car is going to be a killer. This car is going to be a weapon when we take it back to the West Coast and do more competitions. So for that, I'm happy. But I am a little bit disappointed. But uh, there's nothing that I could have done. This was completely out of my hands for the car doing this. Because if it was a normal car, the fact an aftermarket ECU, I would have been able to continue driving even with rubbing on his door. I hope that explained everything. But uh, we're going to try to get it fixed and maybe drive a little bit later tonight to see if the car is still good. Put one in my mouth immediately. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> He's shoving it in his mouth. His fingers just kept going. <laughs> oh, Anthony, now you gotta eat it all. <laughs> Reed's gonna puke. <laughs> Oh, sick. <laughs> what? Oh. Anthony said, put one in my mouth and beat it. Just continue, just shove it in. <laughs> oh, you guys didn't say anything for me? Um, we ate all of them really quick. I have never seen him laugh. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> like a hyena? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Reed, go get another basket. Come on, come on, put it in work. I think that was my favorite moment of the trip. You, you have to watch it. <laughs> he goes, he goes, put one in my mouth, and I didn't. I shoved it, oh. and my fingers came up to like my knuckles. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> Scraps. I didn't fucking look at me. Look at me. Look at me now. You think I throw fucking scraps of this bread? 
Oh my god. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I'm gonna gag. I'm gonna gag. He didn't That's even impressive. Stop. He didn't even stop. I'm gonna gag. Oh, look at him. Oh my. It's probably really good though. Oh. Dad, oh. I wanna go home. I looked over at the wrong time and all I saw was the tongue action. I'm oh. fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good. I want you to rate it 1 through 10. It's a solid 7. The bread. The bread. Oh. No, it right. song reminds me of Nate. I know, I just thought of him too. Nate always goes, They say hello, don't last forever. It's literally shout out to Nate. This is his song. I got your. Here, my bad. Okay. I'm trying to hold it open. Right now, but you can get that last night until like 11 hey! anyway. Me? Yeah. We were in bed late last night. No, we weren't. No. What an animal. Fuck, and with driver. that, this what video shit. comes to a close. We're all tired. We're all stuffed. No, we're not. And we're sleepy. No, we're not. I'm just getting started, actually. Yeah, do you uh, want to go out? We're going to do another day of driving tomorrow <laughs> on a different track. Here. Hopefully, we get the car fixed. I think we found the solution. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, that scared me. That actually dude, got me, and I'm not proud of me. And I saw him do it. Uh, so you guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next clip.